Okay, as I'm preparing for tomorrow, what I thought I would do was conduct one of the one of the analyses for you. Well, actually, what I want to do is derive the shortcut version of the variance formula. Tomorrow we're going to be discussing variance, but I don't want to spend time deriving this formula in class. I don't want to put people to sleep, so I'm going to do it here in advance. You can see it and um, use it at your leisure. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to get to the variance formula, so let's, so here I'm using my bamboo tablet. We know that the variance here, variance, and we're going to get to this again tomorrow, but for those of you who are interested and would like to get ahead, it is merely the summation of the difference between an individual value minus the mean value, okay? We divide this by n minus 1. So here we're talking about the sample variance. Now this isn't, this is all squared, and we'll talk about that, why that is tomorrow. Now this is not a horrible formula, but there are shortcut versions. And one of the shortcut versions uses this handy dandy little trick here, because the numerator of this formula is actually what we call a sum of squares, right? Actually a sum of square deviations and then we're dividing this by n minus 1. So if we rearrange this formula, if we multiply both sides by n minus 1, it'll give us this sum of squares. times n minus 1. And of course those n minus 1's will cancel out on this side, right? And that'll leave us, and if I rearrange the formula, we have this value here, our sum of squares is equal to n minus 1 times the variance. Now, what we're looking to do is calculate the variance with an easier equation. So this is kind of putting us where we were before, right? So what we're going to have to do is use this variance now and write out a different formula. So we have n minus 1 times the variance, which we already know from the top formula, the summation of x sub i minus the mean squared, right, divided by n minus 1. So, so again, these cancel out, and that just leaves us with the sum of squares is what it is, right? It's equal to the summation of x sub i minus the mean. I forgot the little bar here. Squared. Okay, let's turn the page here. So, so far, so good. So again, we have, just repeat that equals summation of this difference here. That's why it's called a sum of square. You're summing the squares, these square deviations here. Just to be clear, this is i equals 1 to n, which is a sample size. All right, so let's go ahead and work this out. This will, we can break this down into summation. We're going to negate the n's down all the other nonsense here x sub i minus the mean times, oops, times itself, right? And that'll give us the summation of x sub i. I haven't used this bamboo tablet in a while. Sum of x, I, x sub i squared times minus 2 times the mean times x sub i plus mean squared. Okay, so we're not, we don't, obviously we don't need the n minus 1 now because we're only dealing with that sum of square. So this is going to be sum of square x sub i squared minus, here we'll pull the constants out, which is 2 times the mean times the sum of x sub i and here, the last term is the mean squared, which is a constant, times the summation of 1. And it, you know, this is going from i equals 1 to n, right? So this will break down into 
summation of x sub i squared minus 2 times the mean times the summation of x sub i plus, so this is just summing up from 1 to n, n times, so that's equal to n, right? So it's n times the mean squared. All right, so we're in a pretty good place right now. So we can go ahead and solve the rest. So we want to really make this into two nice and easy terms that we can use. So let's go ahead and reduce this even further. This term is going to stay the same. Here, though, we would like to deal with some easiest, easier terms. And we, we're dealing with, in this case, we have means here. We, we can put the means back into a more simple formula. So here we have 2 times the mean, and the mean is equal to the summation of x sub i over n, right? And then we have the, so this, this is what we were dealing with here, right? But that's the mean, 2 times the mean. The mean is merely the sum of the values divided by the number of values. Then we multiply that times the summation of x i. Then we add to that n times the mean, but this time we're dealing with the mean squared. So we have the summation of x sub i divided by n. That's the mean, but this time we're squaring the whole thing. Square. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool, right? We're just playing around a little bit so that we can get to our ultimate goal here. Now, so I can remember where I am. I have this all written down. I, I worked it out a little earlier. So this will give us... So this is what we had. Let's just recap what we had before. Wherever we were, we were at the summation of x sub i squared, right, minus 2 times summation of x sub, summation of x sub i over n, because we were doing the mean, times x, times the, excuse me, let me erase that, times the summation times the summation of x sub i, right? And then we had, um, then we had plus summation of x sub i over n squared, and then multiply that times that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fiddle with this some more because we want to simplify this as much as possible. So we've got summation of x sub i squared minus 2 times, so we can square these two right here, right? So 2 times x sub, oops, 2 times x sub i squared, right, over n because I'm just multiplying these two x sub i's, the sums of x sub i here. And then we can further reduce this into summation of x sub i squared divided by n squared, because we, we're squaring this whole entity here, right? This whole ratio, and then we multiply this times n. All right, let's reduce this some more. So we get summation of x sub i squared minus we have 2 times summation of x sub i squared over n. And we add to that. Well, here we can get rid of one of the n's, right? So we got plus summation of x sub i squared divided by n. So now we can add these two terms together is summation of x sub i squared, right? So we got minus 2x sub i squared over n plus x sub, summation of x sub i squared over n. So we can get rid of one of these. That will be minus summation of x sub i squared over n. Actually, so the, 
what, what I made a mistake here, because this is summation of x sub i over n squared, so this would be summation of x sub i squared over n, state it's summation of x sub i squared over n, right? Right, and then I forgot to also, because I was squaring these two summations of x sub i, so it's squared here, okay? squared here, okay. All right, so now what we had left here was minus two summation of x sub i squared over n plus summation of x sub i squared over n that reduces to finally to the summation of x sub i, the x sub i squared minus the summation of x sub i squared divided by n. Okay, so that gives us our reduce the um, formula for, well, a simpler shortcut formula for calculating the sum of squares, because this is a, actually, when you, when you set up a table, this is a lot easier to do. And then finally, here we'll get our, if we, we want to complete our formula for the variance, we just divide the sum of squares, right, by n minus minus one, so that it would equal this whole mess up here. So the summation of x sub i squared minus summation of x sub i squared divided by n, and divide this whole mess by n minus one. So okay, we just actually made ourselves a lot simpler formula to deal with You'll see why when we do an example. Okay, thank you.